Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading, how are you? First of all, we have now a curling iron, no it's not, okay? I have worked together with Dyson, not Dyson, okay? <laughs> Serving you work, waves, <laughs> no, 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 it's the full moon, so mukhang natipos, okay? Tipos is like, I look like, I, I you know, my hair just... <laughs> It's a mess, I know. Anyhow, Pisces, full moon happening in Taurus, Sidereal Taurus. You can check it out. It's available now. If it's not, it's you can sign up and get it. Um, it's in the description box below because right now what we do is like it has like people get on a list because it does get out of stock fast. So this is happening on December 18. I can talk about it more later. <laughs> so a full moon. Mm -hmm. So let's begin your tarot right here. What's going on with... And I'll talk about some chart, uh, you know, charting for you. Be careful with your expenses, okay? There's gonna be like an overblown expense, like skyrocket. Jupiter in Aquarius in 12th house, okay? Like when... But this is for pleasure though. For pleasure. More for like, will you... Do you deserve it? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Because <laughs> it's gonna give you work anyway. Because Jupiter will aspect your six since it's in the 12th. So it's looking at Leo also. So, you have a lot of time to work for that expenses. Trust me on that one. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's see. And then, of course, it's going to aspect. Uh, I'll talk about the zodiac, uh, astrology later. Nine of Wands. Okay, not forgiving and just, um, how to say it is, I feel like there's someone that annoys you and you're just going to say, it's like, you know what, you deserve in the back burner. I'm not going to put my attention um, on to you. Like, you, you know, it's like you. No, okay, this is what you're gonna tell this person. Now, it can be family, friend, romantic connection. Um, if it's a romantic person, then someone is really begging and not asking for forgiveness, more of like asking for attention. Mm. So, for me, if someone is looking for attention, you know, during that moment, I do give them that attention and then I tell them, Stop it. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got my attention already. So stop it. All right. So what do you want? So, because I'm a busy person. Okay? That's why I got time to curl my hair. I'm busy. So I'm like, I'm busy. What do you want? Okay. So nine of wands, because you feel like you've done it. You've been hurt by this person. This is the wounded warrior. Mm -hmm. I wounded warrior, nine of wands. And that's why you got tired. When you keep getting hurt in the same person doing the same thing, then you're going to say, I'm done. I can't do this. This is what you're saying. You have two of pentacles, and they do this countless times, again and again, over and over. Why do you keep doing this? Why? This is probably one of the questions that you, you do. Now, um, this is uh, my card of travel to Thailand. So I don't know if you're traveling to Thailand. <laughs> this is my Thailand card. Yes, this card is different for me. It has different places. Uh, so this is also um, um, a spiritual bath is the two of pentacles because this is the Shiva Lingam for me. And the Shiva Lingam, you know, I think it's the thousand baths and then you cleanse yourself. So this is when I forgot what is it in mythology where um, the temperature is right or something about heat. So you may be feeling like uh, um, temperamental. So you may need a lot of shower this time because this person is going to. Bust your fuse, is that the term? Okay, you know, your fuse is gonna get busted. Ace of Pentacles, good. Um, this uh, lotus over here symbolizes the transformation that you're gonna go through. Um, the lotus never touched the murky water or the mud, so this is purification. Now, I've been reading lately, is it here? Oh, well, it's not here. Okay, well, no, this one I'm reading is uh, wealth and well, type of prosperity. <laughs> this is not related. Well, it's Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so so maybe prosperity. Um, but when I say the lotus doesn't touch the murky water, so as you purify yourself, okay, there are things in your life that you will never do again. Let's just say you're changing yourself to become more conscious about. Let's just say shopping. Okay, and this is the first thing that you're gonna touch. Ooh, sensitive topic shopping. You know, you want a more conscious, responsible, responsible way of purchasing. 
you want to know is this, uh, you know, um, maybe vegan, you know, you're thinking about the animals. It's not made of cowhide or crocodile, ostrich. I understand if that's your karma to enjoy leather goods. Totally, if that's your karma, no tea, no shade on that one. I just want to let you know, you may be a crocodile in the next lifetime. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying, okay? So enjoy. <laughs> enjoy it now. This is your karma. And then you become a crocodile. Then you become, you know, the Himalayan. Okay. We know that bag. Half a million, Birkin. <laughs> okay, so if it's your... If it's your time to enjoy it, enjoy it. Uh, I'm not taking that away from you. I'm just giving you some perspective on what you may become. <laughs> so, um, Ace of Pentacles here is showing that purification again of where your money goes to. So it can be you know now where to put your money and you're saying, I want to be more conscious. I had this meeting before. This is about, okay, if I were to go to a detail, um, a financial advisor. So I consult a, a consulted a consulted financial advisor. Now the thing with financial advisor, you know, they're gonna move your money and invest it, stuff like that. But I wanted to be more conscious where you do not um, it doesn't go to any company that would cause harm to cows. Okay. So but then it has to have a certain um, certain tier of investment before you will know where your money is going. Because you can just throw ten thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand, or whatever. Um, but you would need to have a specific uh, hand, you know, financial um, person to handle it so that, you know, you know where your money goes to, that it doesn't go to a cost against what your cost is. So this is what I'm seeing. Okay? I know, don't get lost. Yeah, but someone is connecting with that one because this is being conscious of where your money goes to, purification of how you spend your money. Okay, but it doesn't mean you're going to be vegan or anything like that. No, maybe some, you know, you're going to be like that. Mm -hmm. But there's different of spirituality vegan, and then there's the, I'm going to throw shade here. It might hurt, but it's just fun, okay? Like an LA vegan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding if you're an LA vegan, okay? I am an LA pescatarian, okay? <laughs> you see that? Call me a TITS vegan. Supposedly, when you're vegan, you're less angry, mm hmm Because you don't have the aggression that you're carrying over from the animals. But mind you, okay, I've met, okay, no tea, no shade. We have all anger issues, okay, five of pentacles over here. Meditate, okay, <laughs> and don't get upset, you know me, I joke a lot with a lot of shade. Five of pentacles over here shows that you are definitely not going to be um, investing with the wrong people because this is what you look, you look, you look like you got broke trying to, to help someone. It can be financially. You keep putting in, putting in, putting in effort, which is that one. That's nine of wands, okay? So let's begin here. Okay. Let's see. You got here eight of pentacles and the seven. Oh, look at that. This person has time and time again work you up with a lie. And this is where you say, it's like, no, no. I'm not going to believe you anymore. You always say that you're sorry, but you've never changed. The proof is in the pudding. So this person really never followed up with any kind of sincere, sincere action towards what they're saying that they're not going to do anymore. So the Pisces right now is definitely putting a barrier between a person. So this December, you're totally dividing yourself from someone. You're not going to come back to a toxic cycle. Six of Wands right here and the Strength card. And you're able to say no. It's very difficult for you. I know as a water sign, you are very softy. Trust me on that one, right? But when you react on your Virgo side, which is your seventh house, when you utilize that because you're all, you have 12 houses, you know, you're a Virgo in a relationship. This is when you look at the T, you know, when you look at it, it's like, okay, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And that's why in partnership, you can be very, very critical, but only if you are burnt out, you are always going to be abused because you're softy. I just have to call it that one. And it's a good placement to be a softy. But it's also a good placement. Use that Virgo side of you. That's your seventh house. Mm -hmm. That's your seventh house. You're perfectionist. You look at it. At, but later on though, at the, at, at, you know, in the beginning, you always look it's like, oh, let me help them. I feel bad. Okay. The kindness comes out. It's good. It's good. We love that. But then don't get abused though. Mm, exactly. So learn to have limits and boundaries. Strength card, you're able to do that now. Three of Wands, opportunity elsewhere, which is good. Relocating, career development, business rising with the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. If you have a business, foreign trade is good for you because um, this is the shipment. So you may be involved in e-commerce. So shipping, import, export. Mm -hmm. 
is very famous is import export if you go to asia what do you do import export and then nobody asks anymore what are you importing exporting because <laughs> once you say import export it ends there so this may be something that you're um you're venturing in maybe you're opening a website with a wheel of fortune jupiter is not yet in your in your zodiac in pisces but in the 12th house then if you have a business then financial trading meaning a, a import export from foreign land that's where the money gonna come so three of one so use that mm -hmm. So I told you, like you will be getting so much money. It's a better with the wheel of fortune. It just keeps flowing. So cash flow wise, it's very very good for you. I need you to be able to separate yourself from people who have been abusing you financially. Two of pentacles and five of pentacles. If your pocket is loose, okay, then how do you expect yourself to be okay stable? So you need to stable yourself first. You have the moon card over here and the magician. All right, so this is good. Now, the way I see this with the magician and the moon, you need to manifest during this full moon. Enter my box. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? So for you, okay, with the Pisces right here, um, this is looking like, uh, how do you say? Because it's going to be Pisces, right? And then Aries, Taurus, third house, a birth of your desire. Um, creativity also is a third house. It can be siblings involved over here. Now, this is the birth of a desire. So what does it mean? How strong are you? How determined are you with this desire? Then it's going to put you into work into your sixth house. And then it's going to give you that, uh, how to say this, that desire or whatever outcome that you're wishing for, okay? Because the magician will bring it as above, so below. So now is the time, okay? So December 18, it's going to be a time for you to bring in, okay, this energy to come into reality. It will be exalted before it goes to Maragasha. It's we're gonna go to Kritika. Moon is exalted in Kritika. So anything, social media is third house. Uh, it's a platform. Okay, this is the ability to make good choices now. And the magician always makes a good choice because it's learning from its mistake. So with the moon and the magician, I feel like you have to manifest. Okay, so I do encourage that to manifest. And because this is what you're bringing, as above, it's gonna come down to you. So a blessing comes down to you. And you've been waiting for this already. It can be to relocate to a different country, to move to a different state. It can be to move into a new house. And here it is, the grand Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So lovely. Okay, so let me continue this reading. As always, I practice future reading. Mm -hmm. I really do practice that. It's easy to read the past. It's a simple pool of a three of swords. He betrayed you. Plain and simple. You don't need the psychic for that one. What you need the psychic for is to see the future for you. Exactly. Okay. So, oh wow. How do you know that? Well, isn't it that's why you came to me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if you come to therapy and then the guy says, like, oh, so you guys have problem issues with your relationship? And it's like, uh, yeah, how do you know that? That's not a psychic. That's not a psychic. That's a therapist. But they would know, right? So it's so easy to predict that. But the future for you is what we're predicting more and more because this is what you need to know so you can take action. Resonance has to be even zero, okay? Because if it doesn't resonate, then it's going to come to you and then you will now plan accordingly, okay? So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Now, the curling iron, I've been working with a brand. <laughs> no, it's not, okay? So uh, <laughs> it's a collab, okay? From Dyson to Bison, okay? So we're coming up with a Bison. It's big barrels, okay? And a Bison will be the one helping us, <laughs> okay? All right, so Pisces, wonderful uh, coming end to December and onwards to 2022. We'll see more. I'll see you guys again. Bye.